I'm Nova Nelson. I'm a permaculture designer and the founder of Cultivate Central. I've been composting at home since 2009 and I'm going to show you how to get started composting at home today. First, let's answer the question, what is composting? Composting is when microbial life, such as bacteria and fungi, break down organic matter in the presence of oxygen and moisture to produce a soil-like substance high in organic content. Compost is beneficial for soil and plant ecosystems. The basic principle of composting is that you are imitating a natural biological process. You are turning organic trash and waste into compost to feed a complex soil food web, which will in turn help grow healthy plants and food. My composting journey has inspired me to teach others to do it too. In the context locally, urban composting is relevant for many reasons. Home composting is the first and easiest step to reducing organic waste generated at home in a natural way. If you don't compost this waste, it goes to incinerators or landfills. Composting will compel you to separate your waste into organic waste, which consists of kitchen, garden and paper waste, and inorganics such as plastics and glass, which you can recycle. Composting gives you an inexpensive and safe way to provide nutrients for your soil, and this will help you grow healthy food. Your compost bin is an intentional replication of a natural closed loop cycle. It's a great family DIY project where children and adults can learn about science and nature. Composting can also help your neighborhood community food gardens. Any extra compost you create can be used to nourish the vegetable and fruit plants available in these gardens. Or you can add your organic waste to local community composting efforts. Where should you begin? We believe composting begins at home. There are many different ways to compost, some easier than others. Some composting methods are hot, some cold, some require large outdoor spaces, and some can be done in compact spaces in your home. Which one should you choose? Choosing a method that suits your setting and circumstance is important. Take into account your space, environment, time, volume of compost you need, and the tools and materials you have or may need to get. In this series of videos, we'll take you through two simple and quick at-home composting methods that require minimal resources to get you started. Before you start, let's understand some fundamentals about composting. You have to treat your compost bin like an ecosystem, not a dustbin. It is an ecosystem filled with microbial life and organisms that will do you a service in transforming your waste into something useful. These organisms need food, air and moisture. These are the things you have to get right in your compost system. These are some of the food for microbes and soil organisms in your compost bin. The food that you feed the life in your compost bin is divided into two large categories carbon and nitrogen, or browns and greens. Getting the right carbon to nitrogen ratio in your compost bin is critical. I've found a 3 to 1 carbon to nitrogen ratio to be the most ideal. Organic matter is the sole source of carbon for soil organisms. These are examples of carbon. Carbon provides bulk to your compost bin. Browns or carbon is like an energy bar for your composting microorganisms. These organic materials have high nitrogen content. Nitrogen is typically filled with lots of moisture. The bacteria and fungi need nitrogen or greens as it is a critical component to building proteins, amino acids, enzymes necessary for cell growth and function. Nitrogen helps these organisms in your compost bin carry on their life processes, such as building cells and reproducing. Air is needed so that the organisms in your compost pile can breathe and do the work they need to do. This is taken care of by making holes in your compost bin and by stirring or turning your pile. 
Moisture is needed for the many chemical reactions taking place in your compost system. It comes from the greens you put in your compost pile. You can also soak your browns before adding it into your pile. Or water your compost if it is too dry. Once you get these three things right, with the help of the organisms in your compost bin, you will create nutrient-rich compost for your plants. If there's one thing you need, is an open mind, and the second, your DIY spirit. So come along, let's start composting together.